Hello, my name is Ellen Croft and welcome to my Supreme Challenge. Joining us today will be Melissa and Chris. This workout will take your Pilates to the next level. It's a fast, intensive workout that really utilizes the free-flowing motion and free-flowing resistance that the Supreme Pilates machine offers. Let's get started. We're going to start with hundreds. If at any time you need to rest, that's fine. I also want to tell you that I don't like to change my springs continuously through the workout, so you're going to want to choose whether you're going to attach it up here or down here. It's an individual choice. Okay, let's get going. We're starting with hundreds. I want to get the abdominals out of the way right from the beginning. Remember, the breathing in hundreds is one inhale and five shh, shh, percussive exhale. Start in tabletop, leg position, and inhale. And ready, and let's go. Shh, 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 shh. Shh, 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 shh. If you want this exercise to be a little bit more difficult, lower the legs. Just make sure that you don't lose the pelvic position. The spine needs to stay in neutral. To make it easier, you can lift the legs. And 90. Last set. And bring the legs up, bend them in, head down for a second. We're going straight into an exercise called coordination for 10. Inhale, on the exhale, bring your legs up. Then bring the hands here, open the legs, shh, shh, and one, and shh, 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 and two, shh, 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 and three, shh, 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 and four, shh, 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 five. I love this exercise. It really works the lower abdominals. And eight. Nine. Last one. And we're going into teasers. Rest for a second. This is another very unique exercise to Pilates. You're going to inhale, bring your arms to the side, and between the resistance of your, that you have with the springs in your hands and your legs, you're going to roll up using your abdominal muscles. Do not throw your legs up, out to get up. So you're going to roll up slowly. We're only doing three. Inhale. So Chris will be modifying. Open the legs, close the legs, bend the knees in, because he's going to be using his hands on the floor to help him roll up a little bit. Come halfway down and roll all the way up. Straighten the legs. One, two, woo! And roll halfway down. I love this. It is so challenging. Up, straighten the legs, open, close, bend the knees, and roll down slowly. If you need to use your hands on the floor, it's fine and relax, but not for long, because we're doing corkscrews. Hands here, legs out. Inhale, rotate the legs to the side slightly, keeping the back on the mat. Roll them around for one, and two. If it's very intense or if your back is popping off the mat, make the circle smaller. Your legs don't have to straighten out. This is great, and we're gonna switch here. This exercise is wonderful for your obliques, for working on those love handles and lengthening the waistline, sculpting the abdominal area. And final corkscrew. And we're gonna be going into pikes. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna press your arms down, pushing your triceps, pushing your hands into the mat using your triceps, legs straight up in the air, and on the exhale, roll up for one. And Melissa will be modifying. Roll down nice and slowly. And if you can see Melissa, she's using the side of the tower to help herself get up and slide up and to stabilize the motion, which is just fine. Up for two. And also, if you want to, when you're up there, when your feet are up there, if you want to go up and hold on to the top of the tower for a second and then roll down, if that helps you get some control, that's fine. Also, if you can barely get up at all, don't worry. This is, woo, there's an example. This is one of those exercises that takes a little bit of time because it involves so many components. It's not just strength, it's balance, it's control. That's great, that was the last one. And we're gonna go into planks. Now here's another example of how you can change the springs 
to make the exercise easier. I'm going to take my springs from the low setting and attach them higher up. And that's going to help me. It's going to assist me on this next exercise. It's one of my favorite exercises. I love this part of the workout. Go ahead and lay down. Also, the further you are away from the machine, the easier it is going to be. Straps on the feet. You can put your hands back here if you need to help yourself get up. The important thing here is that you wrap the buttocks, pull the navel in, close the ribs, and keep your body in a plank position as you roll up, pinching the buttocks. That's one. All the way down. And two. And all the way down, slowly. And three. And all the way down. Now, if you want, you can put your hands down here. It makes it a little more difficult. And we're going to go up for three kicks. Kicking one and all the way down. Reaching as long as you can, like you're painting. The, the other side of the room with your toes reaching. And that's three. And we're gonna go up and stay up and do plank bicycles. One, two, I'm gonna hold three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and switch directions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Up tall. Roll down for a second. We're going to do bicycle circles. So you're going to do circles up there. Inhale, straighten the legs out. Go up. And little circles, five each way. One, two, three, four, and five. And turn. Other way. One, two, three, four, five. And now you're ready to relax into short spine. Bend the knees and roll down. And Chris is modifying this exercise. We're only doing three. Go up. Roll down through the pelvis. <sighs> Roll through your pelvis, massaging the spine. Great job, that was very challenging. We're gonna do kneeling gyros right now. It's a gyro twist. Go ahead and sit up. I love this exercise because it actually gets my heart rate up. Go ahead and grab the straps. Hands over the head. You wanna stack your knees and hips and shoulders. Nice and tall. Inhale and exhale as you come down. What I'm doing is I'm keeping my knees and my pelvis and my shoulders in the same line. Lift the elbow to the ceiling so you get a big stretch and exhale as you pull your sternum towards your pivot bone and then lift that elbow up so you really get that big stretch as, you, as you're coming up. And this is the last one for three. Keeping the navel pulled in, come up. Good, and change directions. Over you go, using the stomach. Pull it down and up. It's a crunch and squeeze. Try not to sit down. The mistake people make is they sit back. Last one, pulling the stomach in. That's great. Now we're going into side lying extensions. This is another challenging exercise. You're going to attach the sculpting bar to the springs. And Chris will be modifying this exercise for us. You're gonna lay down on your side. And this is a wonderful exercise for working those muscles in your, along your sides. If you notice, we've been working that a lot. But that is what adds so much power and strength to your core, is making sure that your obliques and abdominals are all strong and connected. So the first time we do this exercise, we're gonna stretch into it and do it in a modification. On the exhale, you're gonna pull your stomach in and flexing your obliques, you're gonna come up. It's okay to use the floor. Chris is gonna modify in this position the entire time. We're doing five. We're gonna start our five. Melissa's gonna do a second modification with the elbow by the ear, and I'll do a more advanced version. And that's one. Squeeze your waistline, two. It's okay to grab with your feet if you need a little bit. Two more. And last one. Ooh, all the way up, and we'll switch. Start the first one, get comfortable on your side, make sure your hips are stacked, come down slowly. We'll start the first one with that nice little modification and stretch for the waistline, come up using the floor a little bit, and we'll go straight down into the five. And ready, one, and two, and three, come up as high as you can. Four, it's a lot of work, and five. Wonderful. We're going to do chest press. So stand, 
stand with yourself in, inside the springs and the sculpting bar. This is upper body work. The further out you get, the more resistance. Also, the more you lean, the less you're going to use your core. So if you go out as far as you can and then press your weight to your heels and try to stabilize, you really have to work to stabilize. So inhale, we're doing 10. Exhale, squeeze your chest and inhale. Wrap your buttocks, tailbone down, close the ribs. Exhale. And shh. Woo. Shh. 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 Keep those elbows out. Shoulders down. Two more. One. Navel in. Last one. Squeeze and in. We're going to go into tricep extension. So bring the hands inside the springs up over the head, bend the knees and stick the buttocks out. Pull your stomach in, elbows by the side of your head. Inhale, back up a little bit if you need to, if you need to lighten up on the spring, and 10, one. Working the back of the arms so that we can wear tank tops. Stomach stays in. Try not to rock with the body. Two more. Squeeze the triceps at the top and in. And squeeze at the top and that's it. Great. Okay. I'm going to do one of my favorite exercises, butt kicks. I love this exercise because it really does hit your buttocks and your hamstrings. So take off the sculpting bar and take your springs, take both of them down and attach them on the hooks below. Take your straps and attach them here. Make sure that the, okay, make sure that this is attached closest to the end of the spring. And put this on your foot, strap on your foot, bend the knee, buttocks in the air, inhale, and on the exhale, extend the leg up. Try not to rotate, keep your hips parallel to the ground, that's one and two. Now if this is too intense or you're feeling this behind your knee, then step closer to the machine and don't lift your leg quite as far out. Four. Five. This is not just an exercise where you're flexing your buttocks, you're also using the stabilizing leg as you're probably feeling and you're having to balance. And one and last one and now if you can, we're going to add a side mo motion. This is intense, so if this is difficult, just go right back to butt kicks. We're going to put this out. We're only doing five. One. Sweeping it around. Leg goes out. Two. You might feel this more in your stabilizing leg. It's OK. Last one. Five. Great. Let's switch sides. Bend the knee, stick the buttocks in the air, inhale, pull the stomach in, and exhale for one, and two, and three, and four. Squeeze the buttocks at the top of the motion. Five, more, seven, pull the stomach in. Last one. Squeeze it at the top, squeeze, and bring it in. Five side kicks if you can. And one, and out, and two. Notice how Chris is doing his leg lower. That's a modification. Last one. Whoa. We're going to go into donkey kicks. Now I like to put the strap. The strap can be put left at the ankle. You can put it just below the knee or actually up over the knee. Because I'm going to do an extension motion, I like to put it up over the knee. But you're going to bend the knees, stick the buttocks out. If you've got it on the ankle, you may not be able to lift your leg quite as high, and that's OK. Inhale and exhale for one. Three. Working the back, the outside of your leg right here, last one. Now we're going into extension here. It's a bit challenging. If you can do this, go ahead and do it. One. 
and two. Karate, kickboxing, two more. Woo, last one. Great, let's switch sides. Okay, so if you have if, if the extension is difficult for you, then just go back, go ahead and continue with donkey kicks. Stick the buttocks out and inhale for one. And two. And three. And four. Last one. Five. And come down. Okay, I'm gonna go into extension. If you need to stay in donkey kicks, that's okay. Inhale, exhale up and extend. This is one of those motions that the first time you do even one, it's a challenge. And in time, you'll be fine with it. It's just that how often in life do we lift our leg and kick unless you do karate? Woo, last one, bridge pulls. Go ahead and take that off. While you're down here, just put your springs underneath. Slide your buttocks close to the tower. Lay down on your back. Get comfortable. We're gonna do bridge pulls and these really do get your buttocks and hamstrings. So if you need to take a moment and take a breath, take it now. Inhale, both feet on the bar, tilt the pelvis and roll up one vertebra at a time. We've done these in the other, in the basics. Inhale and exhale out, one. Wrapping everything, pull using your hamstrings, pull the heels back in towards your buttocks and two. Inhale, pull it in. And three, pull it in. It's okay if you can't get up very high off the mat. It doesn't matter, you're still working the same muscles. Last one. Now we're gonna add a real challenge. If this is too difficult, you can just lift your leg like that. That's fine, just try to do the work. You can also just take a break, but we're gonna go into single leg pull. One leg lifts up, and one. And in, and two, and in. And three, in, four, in, last one, five, in. Put the leg down, lift the other leg up, and one, and in, and two, and in, three, in, four, in, last one. And bring the leg back down to the bar, we're going into cool down. Roll one vertebra at a time down. You've done a great job. We're going into some wonderful stretches now and we're going into what's called a gall stretch. So take your short spring and attach it to the top and make sure that the tapered end of the sleeve is closest to the swing through bar. Attach it and slide it around so that the clasp is close to the tower. Go ahead and lay down on your stomach. The further you are away from the machine, the easier. Chris is going to be modifying. Take your left hand and put the palm up to the ceiling. Grab the, the swing through bar with your right arm and you're going to pull it down. This is a wonderful stretch for stretching your thoracic rib area. That's the area all through this part of your back. Really important to stretch the middle of your back so that you can stay very flexible and fluid, especially if you do any sports like golf or tennis. So we're coming up and then we're rotating and looking underneath our arm, looking back, big stretch and roll down. Feels so good. It's okay if you can only lift yourself up this much, it's fine. What's gonna happen is in time, you'll be able to go all the way up through the motion and it might not seem like it's possible now, but it is, it'll happen. Inhale and exhale all the way up and twist. And other side. Oh, I love the way that feels. Palm up, legs together, inhale, arm comes back, and exhale all the way up, reach to the ceiling, both shoulders off, twist. Great modification, Chris. And down we go. And reach forward. Inhale and bring it back. And exhale all the way up and twist. So you're using these muscles right here in your extensor, lower back muscles, to help yourself get up. Really important to keep those nice and strong and flexible. Last one. 
and all the way up and twist. Oh, that feels so good. And we're going straight into swan. Both hands on the bar, on the swing through bar. Legs together, get yourself comfortable. Inhale, Chris is modifying again. Bring the bar right over your head. And on the exhale, go all the way up and then relax down into it. Squeezing the buttocks, not too tight, but just pinching it and then down. And one more. This is an amazing stretch for your shoulders. Very important to stretch those shoulders out in the upper back and the lower back. Relax into it. Let the head hang so you stretch the back of the neck and come down. That stretch can be intense, so just do what you can. And we're going to go into one final stretch for monkey because your hamstrings really need it after all that work. So lay on your back, bring your legs up onto the bar. Again, Chris will be modifying. Inhale and exhale and go up. And you can just relax here and walk in place. Oh, that was great. That is such a fun, challenging workout. And that workout can be mastered in a short period of time. Thanks for joining me for my supreme challenge.